Today, we're going to be looking at different mental disorders and ranking them based on how bad it would be to have them. The tiers are going to go from no change, to mildly annoying, to life altering, to living hell, and finally, superpower tier, which is where the illness can have a positive effect, well, as much as a mental illness can anyway. Our first disorder will be hoarding disorder, which you've probably heard about or seen some videos about. It's where the afflicted will obsessively hoard and keep anything that they own, eventually leading to their homes being just completely filled with garbage and or useless trinkets. Although the hoarding thing seems kind of annoying and the idea of having to wade through or crawl on top of heaps of trash just to get through the house sounds kind of tedious. Outside the house it doesn't seem to affect you much, so I'm going to put it in the mildly annoying tier, however I can't see a scenario where it could be put in the life altering tier. Our next mental disorder is going to be autism, which is going to be put into two categories depending on the type slash severity. The first type is the standard autist, which is usually socially awkward or has trouble reading social cues etc. This is the typical TikTok self-diagnosis type of autism. But on the spectrum, there is a second type of autism, which I refer to as Autism Pro Max. These are the savants that, because of their autism, have supernatural gifts that can allow them to do insane feats, such as being able to flawlessly play piano music after just one listen, or comprehend complex tasks easily after visualising them in their mind. But the percentage of savants within those that have autism is pretty low, so it's like a roll of the dice. So for those reasons, I'm putting it in both the superpower tier and the no change tier. Speaking of rolling the dice, the next disorder is ludomania, which is also known as degenerate gambling disorder. Those suffering will often bet all of their money away in casinos or online gambling, often going into debt, chasing that next win. And honestly, more power to them. Did you know that 99% of gamblers quit right before making one bajillion dollars? Yeah, they don't say that the house always loses for no reason. In fact, casinos are losing so much money they often can't afford windows or clocks in their establishments. Due to these reasons, I'm going to put it into the superpower tier as the ability to continue gambling no matter what is a winner mindset that a lot of people, me included, could benefit from. Our next mental disorder is going to be dermatillomania, which is the compulsive disorder of skin picking. And no, it's not like that little bit of skin near your nail that you pull on to remove and that just grows and gets super painful. It's more like picking random areas of your skin and just peeling away at yourself like an orange, but way more bloody. It's usually stress induced and most of the time those afflicted can't even tell that they're doing it, until they've already pulled off a decent chunk of flesh. Looking at some of the images online, you can see literal holes in their skin, some the size of tennis balls. So it's not just little wounds either. Eventually they're left covered in scars and open wounds that are prone to infection as well. Personally, this just sounds like a living hell to me because imagine just having open wounds all over and having a gnawing inclination just to make them bigger. So for that reason, it's going into the living hell tier. Similar to dermatillomania, trichotillomania is a compulsive disorder to pull out your own hair, which, although not as serious as the previous disorder, I'm going to put it in the same tier because unlike bald people, you're actually able to grow hair. It's just that your brain thinks it's funny to pull it out anyway. So it's like the curse of being bald without actually being bald, whilst still being bald. And if you've seen my phobias tier list video, you know what I think of bald people. Night eating disorder is our next disorder, which, as in the name, relates to the disorder of wanting to eat almost exclusively during the night time. Sufferers will usually have no appetite during the day, and for some it's a requirement for them to eat at night, for them to be able to sleep. So yeah, I'm going to put this in the mildly annoying tier, as although it could be disruptive to your daily life, you could just work night shifts and then you're basically back to regular living. So for those reasons, I'm going to put it in the mildly annoying tier, or maybe in the no change depending on the person. Klausomania is the compulsion to scream uncontrollably. Yeah, we're getting into the fun ones now. Those suffering will spontaneously start screaming, usually screaming very loudly to begin with, and then having smaller scream bursts after the primary scream. The screams are often accompanied by feelings of intense anger or in some cases fear. The idea of randomly screaming for minutes on end at any point during the day seems kind of horrifying if I'm being honest. It's the textbook definition of a psychological disorder and for that reason I'm going to put it into the living hell tier. Our next disorder is nearly the opposite of the previous. It is the pseudobulbar effect which is a condition that causes the afflicted to laugh uncontrollably. 
So it's like Klausomania, except I'd much rather be the laughy crazy than the screamy crazy. And for that reason, it's going into the tier below. Quick question. Ever saw some dirt and thought, damn, that looks good. Well, if you have, you might have Pika, which is our next mental disorder. And the name actually derives from the Latin for magpie. Those of you who don't know what it is might be very confused, but to sum it up, it's the disorder for eating non-food objects. The reason why it's called the Latin for magpie is that the magpie would eat anything and everything. So yeah, a quick history lesson for you. Usually those afflicted would eat bricks, stones, chalk, etc. You've probably seen those Maya Strange Addiction videos of the people eating their walls and yeah, that's Pika. The idea of chewing stones would probably piss my dentist off, but other than that, it wouldn't be too bad comparatively to the others on the list. So I'm going to put it into the mildly annoying tier. Next up is somatoparaphrenia, which is where the sufferer believes that their own limbs are not theirs. It can be an arm, a leg, or even the whole left side of the body. Usually sufferers are paralyzed in their affected areas. However, it's not a requirement to get somatoparaphrenia. So you can have a moving appendage that you mentally don't see as your own. It's just something that's attached to you that you don't control. When the sufferers are confronted and told that it is their own leg, they come up with grand conspiracies and delusions to justify how it isn't actually their limb and it somehow doesn't belong to them. Waking up one day and not recognizing your legs as your own would be pretty life altering if you asked me. And for that reason, it's going to go into that tier. Pyromania, which as you probably already know, is the irresistible urge of setting things on fire, which I don't think is that bad if we're being honest. It probably causes you to get into a lot of trouble with the local police, but if you can manage it by starting fires on your own property, then it wouldn't be too bad. So if you can satisfy your urges safely and in a controlled manner, then it'll probably only go into the mildly annoying tier, but if it's more like the set everything you see on fire type of pyromania, then it'll probably go into the life altering tier more likely. Schizophrenia is kind of like the all-in-one disorder, as it has so many different symptoms, but the main ones are a living hell on their own, never mind put together. They include hallucinations, delusions, paranoia, emotional blunting, and many others. This is the disorder that can make you believe that there are spiders in your own skin, and that you need to cut them out, or that there are creatures that are in your walls that watch you sleep at night, which, when accompanied by the auditory hallucinations, make them seem all so real. This one is going to go to the top of the living hells tier, as even the idea that my brain can convince me that there are people watching me, or that there are footsteps in my house, seems like a never ending hell. Finally, our last disorder will be obsessive compulsive disorder, which is also known as OCD. I'm putting this one in the mildly annoying, and will offer no further explanation. If you like these types of videos, consider hitting the like button and maybe subscribing. Anyways, thanks for watching, hope to see you in the next one.